yes, he would definitely die if he is left untreated. Okay. Or the amount of disease in his body. This mother had the very tiny worms in her eye for a very long time. And this has led to visual impairment, then to blindness. This situation is irreversible. The neglected diseases are really diseases of the poorest of the poor. They're diseases of people who don't have a vote, who don't have a say, and even don't say anything. These worms help keep populations mired in poverty. They thwart poverty reduction like no other type of infection can. We have four drugs, and if we can get these four drugs to the 400, 500 million people in Africa who have one, two, three, four, or even five of these infections, we can get rid of the parasites, we can get rid of the infections, and we can give these people a real start to a healthy life. We can say without exaggerating that almost uh, all cases with sleeping sickness are going to die if they don't receive the appropriate treatment. It's 100 and, 130 centimeters. So this Sarah is going to get two tablets of Prasquantero. Two tablets. Why do they thwart poverty reduction? They do so because of their subtle impact on growth, development, intellect, cognition, and school performance. They keep populations suppressed. So what we are saying is, we have an intervention here, which not only reduces the public health problems of worm diseases, it may contribute to reducing HIV transmission, to malaria fevers, to anemia certainly, and that those products are available, can be given once a year, at let's say a cost of less than 50 cents per person per year. I think that is probably, and somebody has said, the best public health buy currently available, globally. Look at schistosomiasis, look at the, uh, onchocerciasis, where whole communities are blind as a result of getting infection with those worms. When you've seen it on the ground, and you've actually seen individuals, and you think, what sort of life have they got? And we can improve the quality of their life so simply, no-brainer is an expression that comes to mind. How can anyone fail to want to help these people? <laughs>